welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're new here. Hello, my name is Emily. Today I'm going to be giving my honest review on Slime Obsidian Part 2. If you haven't already, please watch Part 1 because this might be confusing and I have a lot of stuff to talk about. I am reviewing 8 slimes total and they are super exciting. It would mean the world to me if you guys followed me on TikTok and Instagram. I will have them linked down below. I post a lot of awesome content there that you will not see on here, so I highly recommend you check that out. As well, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would mean the world to me, and that notification bell will notify you every time I upload a video. It would be amazing if you could comment down below your favorite slimes from these two videos, as well as hit that like button. Now you know what time it is. Welcome to the Shark Tank. Today, we have some shadows for you. Dave, Antenna, Hello, hi. You guys want to be shot like this? Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and call it hashtag show things once you've done that. This is Galaxy Fizz. This is a snow fizz slime that smells like gummy bear slushy and costed $14.99. This used to be a layered between dark blue and a purple snow fizz slime. This has a clear slime base and has little female slices of like black moons and white moons and a whole bunch of little glittery add-ins. Obviously this mixed in transit and it turns into a very like purpley blue color. I knew because this had a clear slime base this was going to be super sizzly and I knew I was going to love it. The slime ended up taking off the label because these labels are not slime proof but it had a great scent to it and I could tell that it was going to be so good. Just from squishing and poking, I could tell I overactivated this a little bit, so I'm sorry about it, but I could not believe the end result color and how beautiful it smelled. It smelled exactly like gummy bears. I don't know about a slushy. I've never had a gummy bear slushy. But it was so sizzly and when I stretched it slow, just because of the overactivation, it kind of felt like a sugar scrub on your hands and it inflated so well and made it so fluffy. The bubble pops are real on this slime, I'll tell you that. Like, they just pop everywhere and it is very stretchy even for being overactivated and turns a completely different color. It looks absolutely beautiful and this slime is very easy to inflate. I find that for a snow fizz texture, this is an amazing texture and I could it's just so sizzly and very beautiful. I really do wish I got to see the slime not mixed because I'm telling you the picture looked absolutely gorgeous. I really like this slime as well, and I'm very impressed by it. So far, we have some amazing textures that we've tried out, and I, I couldn't believe that this shop is all around great with textures. So I will have to give this slime a 5 out of 5 sharks, and I highly recommend trying one of Obsidian's clear glue snow fizzes. It just gives a little more bubble pops than normal, and more sizzles as well as inflating.
This is Blue Bubble Cream, and this is a thick base slime with marshmallow beads on the top that are colored pink, and on the bottom of the slime, it had lots of little like clay pieces with like light blue, dark blue, purple, and pink little chunks. It was gorgeous. This slime costed $14.49, and I think it's been around for a little while. This slime is seven ounces and it's supposed to be scented like cotton candy gummy. To me, it smells very good. I don't know if it's necessarily a cotton candy. It has a little more of an artificial smell to it, but it's not bad at all. It, it smells amazing. So obviously, I knew I was going to like the slime because I love thick and glossy slimes. The base of this is super thick and glossy and beautiful baby blue color. When I activated this, it, the foam beads were still a great color. I know that marshmallow beads disintegrate really fast and lose their color into the slime, but this held up really well in melted slime even. This gave incredible bubble pops and obviously it was very clicky. I really kind of wish that the marshmallow beads weren't in there to start with just because they kind of got in the way if you want to play with a thick and glossy slime. Other than that, if you like slime that gives bubble pops as well as a unique texture this one is great I did find that this slime was not very stretchy just because of the base it is very thick probably a glue all base I'm not positive but I can imagine it is when stretched it gives great loud aggressive bubble pops I have no idea what this slime will turn out like once those marshmallow beads will disintegrate. I know it changes the texture quite a bit, but I know a lot of you guys don't like me inflating thick and glossy slimes, but I'm sorry, I'm always going to because I love inflating slimes. So I inflated this and I actually really like the texture better when inflated because it makes it more soft and fluffy as well as it stretches better and gives even better bubble pops. I love how aggressive this slime can be for bubble pops. It's really good for ASMR and the feeling is quite unique. I have nothing to fault on this slime, so I'm going to give this slime a five out of five sharks. And you know what, it's a quite a unique texture and I highly recommend it. All right, so we all know what this slime is. This is Ultraviolet. This is Slime Obsidian's best seller ever. It has a beautiful coloration and this logo was different than the others. It looked like it had a premium white logo instead of a clear logo. So this is like a purple slime and in the light it changes from like maroon to purple. This is a seven ounce clear slime and it costed $14.49. So this is actually unscented 
and it is absolutely beautiful. There is sparkles in this. This is because I activated this slime after I touched the Fantasy Frost, which had lots of sparkles in it, and I probably shouldn't have. So that is why you see the sparkles there. That is from me. I could tell that this is a very thick base, and it is beautiful. In the lighting, you can see that it changes from like purple to maroon to blue. It is very satisfying in color and very thick base. I understand that it is scented due to clarity to keep it as clear as possible and I do know that he makes a ultraviolet jelly which I actually wish I got instead because I love his jelly slimes that much but this is an ultra thick clear slime and it's memorizing on how absolutely beautiful it is it stretches very well and it just looks incredible it's a very simple but basic slime but it is very beautiful on the same side when inflated, you can obviously see the color has changed miraculously. And it is like a basically a purple metallic color. It, it's actually still beautiful. It looks very shiny and at this stage it is very stretchy and gives crazy bubble pops. It, it's a great sounding slime and is absolutely beautiful. This slime is a lot of fun. It's a great thick texture and uh, yeah, I mean that's all I can say about it. It's beautiful. It's, it inflates a lot. It's a great slime. Other than that, I wish there was scent in it, but I understand why there's not, so I will have to give this slime a 5 out of 5 sharks as well. And I highly recommend trying his clear slimes. I haven't seen too many around, like just a clear slime base of his. Or maybe I haven't looked too hard, but I know this is a great texture. This is Areolon Glimmer, I'm probably saying that horribly wrong, and this is a Bingsu bead slime with a clear slime base. This is 7 ounces and costed $14.99. Before mixing in transit, it was supposed to be like a light blue color as well as a deep dark purple and a pink layered. And I think it would be absolutely gorgeous if it had not arrived melted, which I know and understand. Anyway, these had little star female slices and when mixed turned into almost like an ultraviolet color. So it was a very deep purple and it was very beautiful. I am not sure what this is scented like because I took a picture of the wrong slime and all I can say is it smells like sweet candy as well. Like I said, I feel like his slimes smell very similar but not bad at all. They're very simple scents but they're very well done and I absolutely love the scent on it. This slime is very aesthetically pleasing and look at the color and the Bingsu beads just add a beautiful glimmer to it. It's very satisfying. I did notice that these Bingsu beads are actually larger than normal. I've never seen Bingsu beads this large. Uh, I know it doesn't look any different, but when held close up to another slime with Bingsu beads versus this slime, they are a little different. 
That being said, it is still amazing, but Bingsu beads are my favorite texture right now, so I'm very picky with them. That being said, I have gave Obsidian a 5 out of 5 on everything, and this one I'm going to be a little more pickier on. Felt that the Bingsu bead base to clear slime ratio was a little rough, meaning that there was just too much Bingsu beads in the slime versus clear slime ratio. It might have just been because the Bingsu beads were bigger, but um, I feel like if it had just a little more base, it would have been that much more satisfying and crackly. I just find when there's stuff that's full with Bingsu beads, it's hard to stretch, and I just prefer a little more base that's on me. Other than that, when inflated, it turns into this beautiful light purple metallic slime. It exactly looks like, honestly, ultraviolet. It's just a different way, which is crazy to think that. This slime gives amazing crackles. I really enjoy the texture of it, and it feels great on your hands. I feel like with the bigger Bingsu beads, it's not so harsh on your hands, so I feel like somebody with sensitive hands would like this Bingsu bead slime more just because big your surface area means they're less sharp on your hands. I love how easy it is to stretch when it is inflated. I found that it was so easy to crunch. I will give this slime a 4 out of 5 sharks just because I'm very particular on Bingsu bead slimes and they have to be like a certain way for me to really like them. Other than that, that's just me being very picky. This slime inflates very well and is super satisfying so I highly recommend trying it. No damage. Drop test two. No damage. Mako's picks. Number eight. Ultraviolet. Number seven. Blue bubble cream. Number six. Airline glimmer. Number five, Cherry Cola Crunch. Number four, Fantasy Frost. Number three, Galaxy Fizz. Number two, Honeydew Jelly. Number one, Fairy Fudge. Okay, so what I have to say about Obsidian is, honestly, he has very basic slimes, meaning there's not much to them. They have a great concept, like each slime is a great concept, but they're not very intricate, which is fine, because he executes the textures perfectly. I feel like for a shop this big, it is great and pretty good pricing. I know he has sales once in a while, and honestly, I wasn't expecting much from Obsidian, and definitely 
proved me wrong. I've seen a lot of negative feedback on Obsidian and I don't know what's wrong with them because even after having to activate my three month old slime, I found nothing wrong with these textures and maybe I wanted to find something wrong, but I didn't, which is crazy because sometimes I find that the shops I feel like I'm not gonna like, I end up really liking and it proves me wrong and I really like that in a shop because it's kind of like an underdog. So honestly, if you trust my opinion, uh, other than my whole shipping issue and all that kind of problems, I highly recommend Obsidian. They just pump out so many slimes per week and you'll like have so many different textures, scents, colors. So I really highly recommend checking them out just because you have so many options and I think they have slime 24 seven so you don't have to wait for a restock every week, which is incredible. I cannot believe it. I really do wish they would have put in an extra slime for eight slimes because that costed me over $200 Canadian. Other than that, that's just like, I mean, like I said, extra is extra. If you guys like my slime content, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Also, if you hit that notification bell, you will be updated every time I upload a video just like this slime review. It would also mean the world to me if you could leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought of these two videos, as well as if you could mash that like button. I will see you guys next time.